In this training module, you'll be learning how to drive this BR110 locomotive. Built between 1956 and 1969, and originally classified as E10, the BR110 is a multi-purpose locomotive used primarily for local and regional services. When you're ready to begin, climb aboard. Sit in the driver's seat. For this introduction, you'll be driving the train a short distance and performing passenger operations. This locomotive requires the reverser handle to be inserted before operation. Set the reverser to the neutral setting while we take over this cow. Set the headlights to indicate that this train is operational. Unlock the brakes with the brake key to allow braking to be controlled from this cab. This locomotive has two types of brakes. You'll be using the driver's brake, which controls brakes on the entire formation. If you were running as a light locomotive, you would use the direct brake, which is quicker to apply, but only performs braking on the locomotive. Open the passenger doors to allow boarding. Close the doors before departure. The reverser controls the direction of travel. Now we're ready to depart, set it to the forward position. Release the brakes and depart the station. The large wheel in the center of the desk is the tap changer, which controls power delivery in the locomotive. Set the tap changer to the power index you need and the traction motors will gradually apply the set power. The currently selected tap is shown on the dashboard. Before we can start braking, the tap changer needs to be set back to zero. If you do not, braking will cause a traction lockout. The BR110 belongs to the Einheits Elektrolokomotiven, or Standardized Electrolocomotives, program. Unlike more modern German locomotives, the BR110 features scissor double arm pantographs. The five prototype Class E10 locomotives were taken out of service in the late 70s. Of these, two were preserved as museum locomotives. You're approaching the station. Begin applying a small amount of braking force using the driver's brake valve to bring the train to a gentle stop. Nice job, the train has safely come to a stop. You can now use the door control to open the passenger doors. Close the doors before departure. Proceed to the next stop unguided and see how you get on.
Good work. That concludes all the basics of operating this train.